Hey, Brew Crew, Brew here. Welcome back to another edition of the Daily Update. So yesterday I had lots of activity and today was the exact opposite. I had none. It was just watching the positions take care of themselves. So I want to go over that. Visa, this is nice. It basically hung out sideways and the three short calls were able to drain from 15 cents down to 6 cents while the long call drained from 39 cents down to 14 cents with just two more days left in the week. If Visa does surge higher into the rest of the week to around 205, the 210 calls wouldn't expand as much, but the 205 call should expand to about a buck or so. So ultimately, entire play could go from close to zero debit to about a buck, which is pretty good. CrowdStrike, nothing really to report here. There is no bounce with two days left. It's probably not going to be close to 110 at all, which means I lose the entire debit on the trade, which is not bad. It was just 14 cents, so I'm okay with that. Gold, this one looks strong today, then fell back down towards the close. What was good was that it did hang out sideways all day, which gives less of a chance for the short 174.5 puts to expand and screw me over. A slow dribble lower would be nice if that can happen for gold. Silver, this one was pretty sick. Remember that I was trying to play for a bounce here, but instead of buying the 2550 call outright, I also sold three of the 27 calls against it to make sure I didn't pay anything for the spread. And in fact, I got paid to put on this play. What's interesting is that today, the 2550 calls dropped 13 cents, even though silver went up. And that's because the option premiums were so inflated and expensive yesterday on both the puts and the call side. So anyone that bought options yesterday pretty much paid a lot for them. But the good thing is I sold some of the 27 calls against that long 2550 call and each of those 27 calls dropped 8 cents today. So the entire spread, this call ratio actually expanded in my favor today. Now, if silver spikes up into Friday, say to like $25 or $26, then the 27 calls are still going to be trading near zero because it's out of the money and the chance for it to actually become in the money and have any intrinsic value is going to be very slim. But the 25.50 calls might expand to like 50 cents or so if silver bounces up and goes to around 26. And remember, even if it doesn't bounce up there, I have no downside risk because I got paid to put on this trade. If silver doesn't make a run for it, then I just end up walking away with nine cents in my pocket and the equity curve still goes up. That's it for the positions I entered yesterday. I also have the Facebook calendar that I put on last Friday, which I'm monitoring. There's nothing really to update here because Facebook is just hanging out sideways. But the 330 call that I sold on Monday is now pretty much worthless. It's like two cents now. So I was able to knock the debit down on the entire trade by about 20 cents. And going to Friday, I'll probably roll that call up and out to like the 310 or 315 strike to collect more premium. Or better yet, if Facebook rallies hard into Friday to near 300, the existing calendars should expand nicely and I'll probably just sell them back out. And finally, just a quick look at SPX, which straight up rallied back up above yesterday's high, which went against everything I thought yesterday. Yesterday, I was thinking that the momentum to the upside might have gotten crushed by this downdraft, but not at all. As you can see, we took it back up and closed higher. I feel like the tone is still cautiously bullish towards all time high, which is not too far away at all. And once we hit that, then we can reevaluate where to go next from there, depending on how the market reacts at that level. All right, that is pretty much it for today. I think it should be interesting to see how gold trades tomorrow. I think there's still lots of volatility in that. So I'll need to keep a close eye on that put ratio. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it down below and feel free to join us by checking out the links to our Twitter, Discord, and Twitch down in the description below. But for now, stay safe, Brew Crew, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.